Hello everyone and welcome to another timeless video. So today we're going to be taking a look at Boros Moon deck in timeless format. The deck is pretty close to a Death and Taxes. You could call it Death and Taxes if you wanted to. But really the emphasis is on the fact that this deck can run something like a Blood Moon. And even against decks where the Blood Moon isn't very good, you could also discard it using Fable of the Mirror Breaker and Inti, which is really cool. So obviously this deck is going to be very good against Saltai Omnitel. We have a lot of good cards to tax your opponent with things like Dahlia, Esper Sentinel, two copies of Ranger Captain Bios, and two copies of Anointed Peacekeeper as well. And after sideboarding, we also have things like Boromir's coming in, Rolling Vortex, and two copies of Archon of Amuria. And one last card that we are playing in this deck that you might have not seen before is Timeless Dragon. When Timeless Format first launched, we haven't given this Timeless Dragon for free. So initially, when I saw this card, I was like, man, this card is really bad and we're getting it for free. But after playing with it a bit, it actually was really great. Not only does this fix our hand, but it also lets us cycle for a planes to play our Blood Moon. But even after cycling, you can eternalize this card for just 4 mana and making this into a 4-4 flyer, which is quite insane. So honestly, a big fan of this card after playing with it. So having said that, I'm going to be hopping over to some Timeless Special 3 to show you guys how the deck does. So let's hop on over. Okay, let's go. Very nice. Ragavan. Even if opponent has a Stifle, I can Ragavan attack and then fetch Lunark Veteran. Uh, Luminark Aspirant. No. Feels bad. Well, at least the uh, Luminar Gasprin is doing pretty fine. Hedge Maze. Hmm. Okay. Another Fatal Push? Okay. I'm not sure if I can actually erase them. Like, let's say they show and tell I put a Ranger Captain Bios and crack. Okay, that's good. Okay. Fatal push. Okay. I'm just gonna play out the Ranger Captain Bios then. Then I'll go Esper Sentinel. Do you have another fatal push? Say nay so. Okay, that's scary. That the fact that they put a show and tell in the graveyard, that is scary. Okay. Will you pay? Oh my god, they I'm actually kind of scared. Okay. Play out the Thalia. Okay, we have another Thalia. Okay, so I, I think I'm just going to sacrifice the Ranger Captain Bios here.
Fatal push. Nice. Okay, we've learned some valuable information. Opponent is playing Saltai Omnitel. So we sideboard in Roiling Vortex. Boromirs. Take out the Lightning Bolts. Archon. Like, that's so much hate. Look at this. Look at this hate. Do you see this hate? That's just not fair. Uh, I think we can just go down on some Giver Runes. Try something like this. Oh god. Hmm. Short. Shock again. I guess... I guess this is just better to just try to set up a um, Luminar Gasprint. Oh, come on. Blood Moon. It's not like it's gonna matter. If they combo here, I guess we're dead. The island is so good because... Now, even if we do Blood Moon... Like, it kind of lost the meaning. I have to keep the giant killer for something else. Well, well, well. Yeah. This would have been prevented if we didn't get Thoughtseize twice in a row. Come on. Brick. Brick, 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 brick. No. Okay, insane opponent. Insane. Oh god. This is supposedly our best matchup, but we are kind of struggling. We are kind of struggling. We need something better than that. Brainstorm, that's fine. We kind of need a lot of Dahlias. I could Ragavan into an Inti. That way, if we get... Okay. I accidentally passed a turn there, by the way. That was not my intention. Ranger Captain of Eos. Okay. That's actually really good. Should I go Giant Killer? Yeah, let's go Giant Killer.
And then we go Ragavan, so we can put the Archon down. So, I guess they're dead. Because we grabbed a giant killer like what a good player would do. Destroy. Nice. Nice. Giganta. It's pretty... the hand is very reactive. Sure. Oh, Sue, that's really good. This is a, I have a really good hand versus a Zoo deck. I think I'm just gonna... I just wanna do this now in case, like, they have a counter spell. Okay. Swords. Swords again. And we'll grab Giant Killer. Okay, where is our Blood Moon? Nishova Brawler. Anointed Peacekeeper. Let's get rid of you. Giant Killer is just so good as a one of. Okay, how does my opponent just have million Kavus? Oh my god, just... Infinite. Infinite. What's going on here? I have to take two damage every time I want to... Do this. Um, we can still like. I would have been in such a good position. Like we exiled three Kavus. Dear God. Hmm. I mean, this giant killer is just so good.
Nice. Uh, I guess opponent is gonna be able to attack me for five here. I could also block with my tutu. Yeah, I could block with my tutu here. I can't take this five damage. NT, that's fine. Ooh, give her rune. Ragavan? I feel like they should block, right? It's unlucky. They discarded a Giganta? No freaking way. Okay, well, this isn't good. There goes my giant killer. What? Oh, they have a binding. That's what they have. Bowmaster? Okay, that's a bit awkward. Okay, can, can my opponent like literally draw some lands here? Like this is ridiculous, isn't it? Don't tell me you draw another Bowmaster. Oh boy. I think I have to block even though they could have another Bowmaster because I need to actually make them use the Bowmaster, right? Because of uh, Luminar Gasprin. Please, can, can you please draw land? There's no way. Please. Any lands? Nice. Nice. I actually can't shock that in, right? Attack. I would die to a tribal flame if I attacked. No way. Nice. Oh, we can't draw because of uh, Bowmasters. That's not good. Okay. Really close game. Really close game. Ragavan. Let's crack this one. Get a surveil land. 
Swords! I'll take that. So I attack with both. They have to chump block at least one. Is this a smart attack? They chump one. But I would die to... That's really good. Ragavant. Oh my god, this giant killer literally carried me. Wow. Wow. What a carry. So, Blood Moon in. Uh, Soars in. Literally the best card. I think that's it. You know, actually, Containment Priest is very interesting. Because they play Breakouts. Let me see what the Breakout says. If that card has Malvator less, you may put it onto the battlefield. If you didn't, put the revealed card onto the battlefield this way. Put it into your hand. Ah. Uh, I guess Containment Priest, huh? I don't think it's that good. I like it's it's decent, but it's not it's not that good actually. Maybe a Sentinel. Yeah, it's worse than I thought. I guess they spent two mana doing nothing. I'm going second, so Ragavan isn't gonna be as good. Maybe last card to take out. Maybe a Fable. Maybe I should have just taken out Ragavans. What am I doing? Table is too good. Yeah, this is a mulligan, right? Okay, uh... This is also kind of meh, but... I mean, Ranger... Ranger Captain of Bios was actually, like, fire last game. We might be able to get a quick uh, Blood Moon down and potentially win the game. On the cuddle start. I do wonder here, like, uh, Death Rise Shaman actually makes things a little bit tricky, but Blood Moons might still be good because, like, it makes their domain bad. I'll see what to do here. Brawler. They still have a mountain and a forest though. Not sure if this this is actually that good. Yeah, it makes them weak, but I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna play a ranger. And I'll probably just swords. I think I want to do this now. Like in case there's like a counter spell. I'm kind of hoping that... Oh god, that's actually really bad. 
Ooh. That's actually really bad. You don't want to see an NT. That was so good for them. Into another creature. Becomes a 2-3. Might have to double block. And just kind of hope that they don't have anything. Like if, if they have a bolt, I lose either way, right? So I feel like at least this way. Okay, that's good. That's really good, by the way. I think I attack. Swords! Nice! Yeah, I'm just gonna do this preemptively yet again. Okay, Blood Moon doing God's work. Literally. That's cute. Uh, let's see. Put it on you. Put it on... I guess I can't attack with Dahlia here. No matter what, right? Another Kavu. How are you feeling about this giver of runes? I think we attack like this. Discard the giver of runes. See what we can find. <laughs> okay. Another giver of runes. Lightning Bolt. I think we just keep pumping the Dahlia. Decline. We might want to kill the Territorial Kavu. Because they, they're probably saving this to discard to the Kavu. Breakout, that's actually not going to do anything because we have a Containment Priest. They'd have to put it into their hand. This was a pretty close game. Oh, I should have probably... Green. GG's.
Okay, this is a relatively safe hand, I think. Haywire Might main deck. Uh, there is only one deck that plays Haywire Might main deck. That is Yagmoth. So we need to get our Blood Moon down as soon as possible. So that's a Bowmaster. No way. Am I about to get stifled? No way. No way! Oh, wait, wait, what? Huh? What happened? Okay. At least it wasn't a stifle. Why are they playing breeding pool? Why are they playing breeding pool? Scavenging ooze. Okay, so we actually have to kill the haywire mite. Right? Uh, please no, Yagma. One time. Just play a random creature. Okay, there's a uh, Yagma coming. There's that Yagma. I'll protect the uh, the weaker one. Halfling, sure. Okay, so they're gonna be able to fetch their another forest, but... Which is a shame, but... Hmm. I wonder if I should actually block this uh, scavenging ooze here. So that they actually fetch first, and then... Maybe they're not gonna fetch... Okay, they have fetched a forest. I thought they weren't... I was kind of, um... Baiting them to fetching something that's... You know... Not... Green. Oh my god, they also have a Swamp, and they have an Agatha Soul Cauldron? I don't think there's a future, right? Oh, we have a Source though! Oh! Okay, let's go to combat. What can they grab? Haywire might, right? That's probably what they're gonna get. Maybe I should have just uh, swords first and then attacked. I wonder what would have happened.
Okay, let's look at their hand. I got the Soul Cauldron is very annoying. Maybe I just named that right shaman. Yeah. And just hope that they draw another land. We gotta be pretty careful, like, we can't give them a giver of runes. Man, I got the Soul Cauldron in the main deck. Oh no. That is not good. That is not good. Uh, I think we lost. I can't beat this Agatha Soul Cauldron main deck. It's too strong. I wonder how many copies they play, because if they're playing a deck with Agatha Soul Cauldron, and this Dark Ritual, that means they can't- they must not have Natural Order. We'll bring in some Pitting Needles. Um, Source of Plowshares. Maybe Archon as well. And some more Blood Moons. I'm not even sure if Blood Moon's that great though. Like sometimes you can knock them out, but they have so many mana dorks. I'm not sure if it's- I'm not sure if it's actually gonna be that good. This is the matchup that you don't want to see. I mean, it, we are a creature deck, so we're just going to lose to Yagamoth. Like, that's almost guaranteed. But we'll try. We'll try nonetheless. Yeah, the Agatha Soul Cauldron is a little bit harder to defeat because the Pitting Needle can't just call Yagamoth. It's a little rough. Um, let's just go down to some these one mana creatures. Um, really hate to do this, by the way, but I think we have to get rid of that. So they have brought a fatal push. We'll probably just cycle this. Okay, how does opponent just casually have a swamp into a forest? How do they do that? Actually cheating? Shaldred? Could have been worse. Could have been worse. I'll keep that. Yeah, how does my opponent just casually have a swamp in the forest starting hand without mulliganing? That's not fair. Yeah, that's not fair. Yeah, this Blood Moon... Kind of failed, honestly. Right. Doesn't attack. Ooze. Wow, they actually must play four copies of Agatha Soul Cauldron. Interesting. So four rituals, four 
uh, Soul Cauldron. And you don't play natural uh, four copies of Natural Order and two, three copies of Natural Order targets. And you're just all in in Yagmoth plan. That's what they must be doing, right? Yeah, that's probably it. Uh, if we can't kill that Sheldred, I don't think there's a future in this one. Might just go Timeless... Containment Priest? They're not making it easy. I think I have to cycle this so that I can make a 4-4. Four, four. If, if they're smart, they would eat it immediately. Oh, opponent, you don't want to do that. Not when there's a containment priest. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, one problem solved. One problem solved. Uh, just so that they can't really attack me. Let's put a counter there. My opponent's roping a lot. They're five minutes down on me. A little bit of a premature surrender there, I, I feel like, right? Um, and Blood Moon seems like it was great. Maybe we should have more Blood Moons. Same with the Giver of Runes. Maybe one less NT, since we're not going to be able to attack too much. What about take out Captain? How do we feel about that? Oh yeah, we, we said we were going to take out Ragavan and... Better because we're going second. I mean better as in the worse. Okay, we have a Pitting Needle. We have Containment Priest. Now we have to pick and choose. Like, uh, do we want a Pitting Needle... The Yagmoth, or do we want a Pitting Needle... Agatha Soul Cauldron? Death right shaman. Okay, so what is the deal here? What is the deal here? I'm gonna do Yagamoth. Watch a Vile Cauldron comes out, I'm gonna- I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> I'm gonna freak out. 
The opponent attacks into a Bowmaster. Sure, sure, sure. I wonder why they do this. Why they do it on uh, their turn. So this is a pretty interesting spot. Because if I contain and Priest first... We'll, we'll see. Uh, what should I do? I could just wait. I think I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, I, I'm gonna wait. They clearly have um the Convoke card, so we'll just use Containment Priest in response. Another Shaman. They're really flooding the board. No. Okay, I, I guess I'll do it now because they can't actually use it now. So I'll do it now since they can't... Okay. No thanks. Well, this is a pretty bad situation. They have a Haywire Might. And this is probably a Yagamoth. We have a lot of removals though. Okay, Halfling. I'm gonna try to find another land. Maybe it is a Convoke card. Well, we get to see it now. In response. What is this? Into Takenuma? Interesting, why they... Do it in response. Death, right, Shaman. I, I think opponent just threw, right? Yeah, I think opponent just threw. They can't activate it. And their only Haywire Might is gone. Um, I think I'm just going to Timeless Dragon, make it into make it into a four four, and pass. I think I will still you know kill a Yagamoth in case they can do something with the Pitting Needle. I don't know. I mean I can just hold up my swords to Plowshare to be fair. Oh that's not gonna work. I think they realize they lost so. I think they are just showing that they drew a Court of Calling. What did they exile? Sheldred? Okay! Oh wow, what the heck happened here? Hold up, let me just uh... There we go. So I played Boar's Moon, um... You know, you could call this a Death and Taxes as well. But surprisingly, it was pretty good. I played another version of this. So if you come across me, but you weren't in the video, I was probably playing the other deck that it didn't quite perform as well because um, at the time I didn't have a Timeless Dragon. I didn't have four copies of Flooded Strand, which made our Ranger Captain of Bios a lot worse, especially when their Blood Moon was down. But if Blood Moon wasn't down, and there were also times wh where I lost because I couldn't get the Blood Moon down, and didn't have enough planes to actually take full advantage of this Blood Moon. So 
I changed the deck quite uh, quite a bit. Um, going down on some Esper Sentinels to get away from Bowmasters as well. Uh, going down on a copy of Dahlia as well. And initially, the deck actually had four copies of Ranger Captain Leos. But I wanted to use uh, Anointed Peacekeeper to like deny some Planeswalkers. And even deny um, Deathrite Shamans as well. So uh, the deck went through uh, quite a bit of revision. And this is the conclusion. So what did I think about this deck? So naturally, this deck, you know, with a bunch of Anonymous Peacekeepers, Ranger Captain Leos, some Thalias, and Ragavans and Esper Sentinels, naturally, you would have a pretty nice matchup going into Saltai Omnitel. So that was, you know, that was the idea. But against other decks, especially the Zoo deck, I think you would also have some decent time against the Zoo deck. But I think it's still, you know, a, a bit of a toss-up. Because just, just just because Zoo Zoo is just such a strong deck, so like if, if you don't draw a bunch of source of plowshares, you might have some hard time because Lightning Bolt doesn't really take care of their creatures, and if you don't draw Blood Moon on in time, you might also kind of be in a tough spot. But they are silver bullets to what they're playing, so if you can draw the right cards at the right time, I think you're gonna have a decent time. But against a Yagamoth, as you've seen from that last game, uh, it's a bit of a struggle. It is a bit of a struggle. I think I got a bit lucky there. So that was actually pretty fortunate. And besides that, and even against like matchups that normally like the Blood Moon is kind of useless in, like you do, you do have Fable to get rid of the Blood Moon. You do have NT to get rid of Blood Moon as well, so. So that's something I really like about this deck. Um, besides that, Timeless Dragon. So you got a free copy of Timeless Dragon when Timeless Format launched. So there is no way you don't have this card. And when I first saw this, I was like, what is this card? This card is so bad. But, but having played it, this card is actually kind of insane. So not only does this actually fix your hand because like you, like you got stuck on lands, but it becomes a 4-4 flyer that opponent has to deal with. Like, that is not a joke. And if you pair that up with Lunar, Lunar Gasparin, that's... This is getting a lot bigger every single turn. So so I really like the Timeless Dragon. Um, maybe even going up to two copies might be pretty sick. But my policy is don't change what works. And besides that, Luminar Gasparin. Really, really good card. Even in a Bowmaster meta, like, you can play around Bowmaster very easily, um, especially with four copies of Giver Runes. Like I said, um, every white deck that I played, I've always had four copies of Lunar Gasparin just because this card is just so snowball-y. Even though it, it is technically bad against Orkish Bowmaster, but it also protects against Bowmasters as well, especially if the opponent is tapped out. So yeah, um, that is going to be it for today's video. Uh, Containment Priest got a lot of value this uh, in today's session, so big thumbs up for that. So with that said, that was me testing out Boros Moon deck in Timeless Format, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye. Oh wow, that looks so cool.